We are sick of farming, but are we really? No, we aren't sick of farming, we're sick of bad farming. But unfortunately, everywhere you looked for a while, it just seemed like everyone hated the mechanic. All over Twitter, all over YouTube, everyone just wants games that don't have farming. Why is this the case? Farming is one of my favorite mechanics. It can be relaxing and fulfilling if implemented correctly. The problem is, most of the time, it's not implemented correctly. Why does the cozy community hate this staple mechanic? What's more cozy than farming? Well, a lot actually. Farming in some games has gotten to the point where it's just a chore. While these life sim, farm sims, and general cozy games are known for their tediousness, players are only interested in the productive, fun tediousness. I know fun and tedious shouldn't be in the same sentence, but with video games, it somehow works for some reason. So why do we all think that we're sick of farming? Sometimes it's just pointless. Many cozy games add in farming because they think that is the end-all be-all to a cozy game. Just growing crops isn't fun. Maybe it was eight stories of seasons ago, but now you really have to build on the farming mechanic to make it viable for a game. I need to harvest crops for more than a reason than just to make money. If farming is included solely for the game's economy reasons, I find myself never bothering. Planting, watering, and harvesting is just too tedious of a way to earn money. Not to mention waiting for the crops to grow. I can go fishing or do whatever other mechanic the game employs to make maybe a little less money, but make it right now. I can do it so much quicker than the five days it takes parsnips to grow. As a result, farming just feels like a bad mechanic. Sometimes you can completely skip over the feature and go on with your day. But many times, it's connected to the story-driven content like questing where it forces you into the mechanic. And I'm not talking about the random side quests like the notice board in Stardew Valley where Haley asks for a zucchini for whatever she uses it for. I won't ask any more questions about her. I'm talking more about the main quest line. Even the one male quest where Jody asks for a cauliflower in Stardew can be completely ignored and it doesn't really link the story at all. It's more of just an introduction to giving gifts to villagers. This can be fine. A little tutorial on how the mechanic works, best practices shows you how the game deals with growing crops. But when you're forced to farm, it's way less fun. God forbid you go overboard one day with planting crops and you don't have the energy to water them all and then all you're doing is farming for so many in-game days because you don't want to stop and waste all the gold you spent on seeds. But I guess that's kind of more of a poor strategic decision on the player's part rather than the fault of the mechanic. But it's definitely a problem I faced before. Didn't know I could be bad at farming sims, but uh, I've learned. And then when you finally sell those crops, they're worth practically nothing. You spend days growing them and then they sell for like 10 gold for a crop. Yay. Sure, there are ways to beef up your profits by throwing them into crafters and turning them into something new, but that takes even more time. It's rare for a game to do something different with farming. I guess there's only so much you can do, but it, it just gets really old really fast. It feels like I'm playing the same game every time I drop $60 on a brand new title. As a result, I have found myself skipping farming, which in turn is a positive for these games. The fact that most of the time you can avoid growing crops is a blessing, which is another reason why main quests past the tutorial phase requiring farming are annoying. But if I just don't want to farm, then I shouldn't have to. Let's take one of the best farm sims out there as a positive example, Stardew Valley. I've already mentioned before how there's one quest that you get as a letter which requires you to grow and deliver a cauliflower. But you don't really ever have to do it, you just get a small payment as a reward and there are side quests that you can completely ignore. Farming is useful in Stardew though, especially at the beginning of the game. You can use the food for cooking to gain more energy since that's always an issue in the first year with a small energy bar. You can take most of the crops and upgrade them in crafters like kegs or casts, but again that just takes more time and we don't like taking more time. Or you can straight up sell the crops for a decent amount of money, which is super helpful in the beginning. But once you get going and have other income sources like farm animals or you just have so much money that you don't have to worry about income anymore, farming becomes pointless, even in the best farm sim out there. Farming becomes too tedious to continue indefinitely. It just eventually feels pointless even in Stardew Valley. Not to mention metas. If you're using farming as your main economy, there's always a meta, a best way to farm or you're wasting your time. I hate metas in games so much, it kind of takes the fun out of it for me. I know I have a ton of videos about like the metas of Animal Crossing and I sound like a hypocrite, but it doesn't mean I like to know everything. 
It's nice to know whether or not I'm wasting my time by burying 99,000 bells in a gold money spot, but finding the ultimate crop layout in Palea? <sighs> I'm just not interested. I plant what I want, where I want. As long as I'm not losing bags of 99,000 bells, I'm pretty okay with not knowing how things work. There is one thing that makes farming stick out as a good mechanic. Quick planting and harvesting. Stardew does this so well, you can run around and plant in half a second. Paleo too. Planting and harvesting are so seamless and quick. We don't need a whole animation to play just to pick a crop, it's already a long process. The best farming mechanics are quick. Any mechanic in a game has to be worthwhile. You can't just throw in an activity and not have it yield results. Crop management can be a really relaxing activity. Besides watering every day, which can be solved with items like sprinklers or upgraded watering cans, this mechanic is pretty cozy. Who doesn't want a full field of nice, colorful vegetables? For the most part, we like farming. Everyone who plays Stardew Valley farms at one point or another. It is a farm sim after all. And Farming Simulator has sold over 25 million copies across all titles, according to Wikipedia. But it proves that it's not farming that's the issue. It's bad, boring farming. What makes Farming Simulator so much more appealing? Why does a game that only farms, the thing that we supposedly hate so much, sell 25 million copies? It does something different. It's not just the simple plant water harvest. Farming Simulator does something more. It's incredibly in-depth. The game adds additional mechanics like rolling out the rocks or fertilizing your crops with some limestone. More tedious, I mean, it's, you can make yourself a, a big plot, you gotta do, you gotta spend a lot of time doing all the different additional steps, but it's so satisfying. A bunch of upgrades help too, customizations, way more of an effort than other simple farming mechanics that we usually see. Which is what Stardew does in everything outside of farming. That's what makes it so special. Hidden notes, interesting characters, a good story, meaningful quests. Even trying to get gold quality crops through the community center makes me want to farm at least a little bit. I'm getting something out of it, I'm being productive. Stardew isn't successful because of the farming, it's successful because the game is good. Even if farming wasn't there, I think we would still enjoy Stardew. Farming doesn't make the game everything it can be. I think we're less sick of farming and more sick of games that are too simple, repetitive, and common. These games just also happen to include farming because, again, that's the end-all be-all of cozy, right? Or at least some games think it is. If farming made the game, then we wouldn't have fun games like A Little to the Left or Unpacking. Super cozy, no farms. What are some games that you like that do include farming? Any enjoyable cozy mechanics that specifically stick out? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!